no matter how motivated you are, you can't lift people if your energy sucks. Quality of life uh, is what pretty much everybody wants, but people don't really understand exactly how to get it. Uh, quality of life is actually related to the energy you carry. If you are carrying toxic energy that you've produced or you've picked up from other human beings, your quality of life will not be good. And I've known this since I was 19, so this is not a new thing. Your quality of life depends on the type of energy you are carrying. It doesn't matter whether you produced it or you've picked it up from someone else. If you're carrying toxic energy, painful energy, your quality of life is crap. And unfortunately, it gets worse. If you are carrying that type of energy and you share it with other people, their life becomes crap as well. And so my whole adult life, I've been pristine because I've known all about energy since I was a little boy. If we have good quality of life, more than likely our energy is really clean and clear. The best energy is sattvic energy, pristine energy. Some of you might get that feeling after you've been down the beach for a swim and a long walk along the beach without anyone else. It's very fresh, it's very alive. Anything other than that uh, actually hasn't been acceptable to me for the last 50 years. Because when you don't have pristine energy, you do not have higher consciousness. And if you do not have higher consciousness, you don't see the big picture, you don't see the consequences of your actions, you don't see the consequences of other people's actions, you get caught in small picture and you suffer incredibly, usually blaming something else or someone else. And so it comes back to energy in a lot of ways. Your quality of life depends upon what type of energy you carry. Now, when I was working as a psychotherapist, I was picking up truckloads of really toxic energy off painful clients. But I wouldn't go near my children or my wife until I'd cleared it. And sometimes that took an hour of dancing. And I don't tend to retain energy very well anyway because I don't have the belief systems in place that retain it. A bit like a baby. But if you want to have good quality of life, and my understanding is everyone does, you've got to look at what type of energy you're playing with. What are you producing and what are you picking up? And are you clearing it if you're picking up toxic energy or producing it? This is your job. You can live in a house with beautiful long white shag pile carpet, or you can live in a pig pen, depending on the energy you bring home with you. It's up to you. Now, if you're interested in helping people in Lifting people, your energy has to be pristine. No matter how motivated you are, you can't lift people if your energy sucks. You just can't. As a matter of fact, if your energy sucks, you will guarantee, it's guaranteed you'll sink people. It's all about energy. The Hindus got it right with the three gunas. It's all about sattvic. You want to be happy? Get sattvic. You want to be miserable? Fill yourself up with rajasic and tamasic. Works really well. Up to you. You create your reality by your habits and by the way you think. <laughs>